have a three-in-one machine to show you. It's called the Moose. It, it's a 3D printer. It's a laser engraver and also a CNC machine. And this one is uh, the control panel. It looks like a phone, but it's definitely not a phone. And this is the base. It has a lot of ports and underneath there are some cables and uh, some samples of wood so that I can practice uh, CNC and laser engraving. The second layer we have the power adapter and the power cable. Underneath is the 3D printer filament. Uh, I think this is the build plate for CNC and laser engraver. It can hold a, a piece of wood or other material. And uh, uh, this is the build plate for 3D printer. This this one is the is for a uh, 3D printer. Uh, looking at the nozzle, I think before they send it out, they already uh, tested uh, tested. So uh, which is good. And this one, I'm pretty sure is uh, for the CNC machine. It's got the C CNC head. And the last one is the laser engraver. I got to say the packaging, it's really tight and solid. I don't think it, it will have any problem when uh, shipping overseas. Uh, these are all uh, linear motors. Oh, oh, and one thing I forget to mention, you'll feel it when you take it out of the box. They're uh, made out of uh, anodized aluminum and some black plastic. If I don't know if eventually it will work, but if it turns out it doesn't work, <laughs> there uh, it, it still feels really really nice. I don't think I will hear complaints about build qualities. And um, one thing we're missing, I don't see uh, any instruction, the menus. Uh, you know, I have a little bit of technical background, but I'm good at following tutorials and instructions. Right now, I have to take a break and ask them for an instruction, and then I will come back and keep uh, filming, I guess. Okay, they emailed me and sent me the instruction. I have the PDF on my phone. It's pretty clear and easy to read, but unfortunately it is easy to read in Chinese. Uh, they don't have an English version yet, so I can talk about it until I uh, check the English version and see if it's okay for you guys. I'm using the electric screwdriver today. It's a bit easier. I don't think anyone wants to see me spend all day um, trying to spin the Allen key around and around. First, I'm taking off uh, all the screws uh, at, the, uh, at the base so it would be easier to put the motor on the top because I think there aren't much uh, space, uh, there's not enough space for me to put uh, the motor on the side, so I'm just gonna take it, uh, take the base off first. This is their motherboard.
I'm using the I'm using the eight millimeters M3 screw for the <laughs> to uh, screw on the base. This is the um, C axis, so I have to use the splitter, the splitter to connect to the um, C axis. They have a nice interface. Uh, I'm mo I'm going to move the C axis up so that I could put the plate in. Printing play under uh, on the y axis. Let's just uh, test and see if the motion is working okay and then I can try out the heads. Okay guys, it has been a few weeks. I have been um, communicating with the boss and the workers and rooms uh, back and forth. Uh, but um, there are some issues and let me show you the problems I've encountered. Uh, first I'm going to fill in the uh, filament into the extruder and I'm going to first cut an angle of it. Otherwise it's very hard to just jam it in. Um, before we put it in, of course we need to uh, heat it up first. So let's press the button like a wave button. Then it's going to um, heat up to uh, 200 degrees.
Oh, shit. Um, it must be, uh, it must hit the fan, I think, inside, so uh, now I have to pull it out. Sometimes it does that, sometimes it will, um, if you put it in the wrong direction, it will, uh, <coughs> no, wrong direction. When you, because the fan is very close to the extruder, so that's one thing you need to know. So now I'm going to uh, fill it, try to fill it in again. Right now we have to set the C height because there is no way to level the bed, there is no leveling like the other printers. And just like uh, other printers, I'm going to use a piece of paper to test the distance between the extruder and the bed. Even though I have small fingers, but um, it's still hard for me to uh, use this touch panel, so I'm just going to use the Allen key to control it. So even now when I set the C um, axis to zero, uh, the extruder is not uh, touching the bed. Uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. When I restart the uh, uh, printer, uh, sometimes it works, um, but most of the time it uh, takes a while for me to get it working. And now is, and uh, the annoying thing is when I tap the uh, left button is it wouldn't go to minus zero or it's I think it hits the limit if so and it's not touching the bed what else can I do I, I, I don't know what to do okay I finally uh, set it to uh, zero uh, I tried it a bunch of times it's inconsistent you uh, I can tell you which way is the right way to for it to, to get it working because you have to uh, turn it on and off and on and off and then you try a bunch of times and hopefully it will work and now it works but I, I have spent too much time on it I so but if for you if you can figure a way to do it that would be great let me know but now uh, since we get uh, I'm going to hit the home button and let's double check Now let's hit print. Uh, let's choose a file. I, I'm using their G code, uh, the G code file they gave me. Uh, so let's 
Pray now the second turbo turbo sonder. Let's try that. So the extruder already been hit up and now it's just sitting there doing nothing. Um, I'm going to cancel it and let's try another Gco file. But actually I've tried them all also but I just want you guys uh, to see what's going on here. So let's cancel it and... It seems it's frozen now. Let me restart it. Okay, I cannot um, give my recommendation for this machine. This is a 3-in-1 machine. It's a laser engraver, CNC, and 3D printer combination. Um, because I haven't been able to make it work for me, uh, but <laughs> all of you know I'm, I only have very basic skills. Maybe someone like you or someone who has a higher skill can uh, make it work. And uh, it is a very well-made machine. The quality, quality is good. And the people at the company, they're very nice, they're honest. I think they're honest, they're not trying to cheat anybody. But I couldn't get it working, so I'm not comfortable recommending it. I, um, so that's the review. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time.